good morning students uh, our first program is to perform addition of two 8 bit numbers suppose if i want to add 00000001 with 00000100 so the hexa equivalent of this 8 bits is 01 the hexa equivalent of this 8 bits is 04 suppose i want to add two 8 bit numbers stored in consecutive location and I want to store the result obtained after addition in the next memory location. Imagine I am storing my first data 0, 01 in 2000 location and my next data 0, 04 in 2001 location. My aim of the program is to add two 8 bit data stored in two consecutive location. 0, 01 plus 0, 04 whatever result i get should be stored in the next upper location that is 0, 05 if there is any carry generated by this addition that should be stored in the next location since in this problem we don't have any carry the carry will be 00, zero. so this is the aim of our uh, first program so uh, you can see the A to add two 8-bit numbers stored in consecutive memory location. So the location where we are going to store is 2000. So 2000 is holding first data, 2001 is holding second data, 2002 is the place where we are going to store the sum, 2003 is the place where we are going to store the carry. So the first problem here is uh, this is a program. Let us start with the program. First move CX0000. It means I am initializing a register called count register called CX and making it all zeros. This is my first step. What is my second step? Move 2000 SI. It means move memory location 2000 where I have stored the first data into a register called source index. So source index is a register that is holding the starting address of my first data. Next uh, see the second third instruction move the data which is stored in the SI. You can see this symbol is meant for memory location. What is the register which is inside this? SI. So SI is holding the starting address. Go to the starting address pointed by SI. So what is the starting address pointed by SI? SI is pointing 2000 memory location. Go to 2000 memory location. Whatever data you have in 2000 memory location, take the data and move it to register AL. So, see here, what is the data you have in 2000 memory location? 01. 01 will be moved to and stored in register AL. Now, what happens after executing this instruction? AL will become 01. Increment SI. So, what is the current value of SI? 2000. If I increment SI, SI will become 2001. Now, move data which is stored in memory location 2001 to register BL. So, what is there which is stored in 2001 location? 04 is stored in 2001. So, take the data. So, go to location 2001. Take the data which is there in 2001 which is 04. Move it to a register BL. Now, BL is holding the second data 04. Now, what is my job? I need to perform addition of this AL comma BL. So, AL will be added with BL. Result will be stored in AL. So, what is AL value? 0, 1. What is BL value? 0, 4. 1 plus 4, 5. So, AL will be updated with 5. This is the output of this instruction. AL is equal to 5. Now, check if there is any carry. JNC means jump if there is no carry. So, since we don't have any carry here, I need to jump to a location called 3010. So, what is there in 3010? Increment SI. So, I will jump from this location to which location? 3010. Go to 3010 location. What is the instruction we have in that 3010 location? Increment SI. So, what is the current value of SI? 2001. If you increment it, it becomes 2002. Now, what you need to do is, you need to store the sum in 2002. You know, 2002 is a memory location where you need to store the sum. So, what you need to do? Where is the result is stored? Result is stored in AL. So, move 
the result which is stored in AL register to memory location pointed by SI. So what is SI value? 2002. Immediately the data 05 will go and sit in the memory location pointed by SI. So in 2002 immediately this 05 will sit increment SI. So what is the value of SI now? 2002. If I increment SI, it becomes 2003. Now move CX to the location pointed by SI. What is the value of CX? All zeros. So move it to SI. So what happens? In 2003, uh, value of CX will be moved, which is 0, 0. So CX value, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, will be moved to location 2003. And uh, now your sum is stored, your carry is stored. Interrupt 03 is the last instruction of any program. Stop the program and come out is the function of this interrupt 03. Now, you need to understand by chance if there is any carry. Suppose I am adding something like this. 1000001111. 1000000000. If I add these two 8 bit numbers, this is stored in AL, this is stored in BL. If I add this, what happens? I get 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and a carry 1. 1 plus 1, 0, and a carry 1. So, what happens? What is the output I get? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 is nothing but 3. So, if I add AL and BL, what is the output I get? AL value and BL value. I get AL output as 0, 3. Sum is 0, 3. 0, 3. But here I have to check a condition. Jump if there is no carry. If there is no carry, jump to 3, 0, 1, 0. By chance if there is a carry. Now in this operation we have yielded a carry. Since it is a carry, what I need to do? Increment CX. The CX value is all four zeros will be incremented to 0, 0, 0, 0001, indicating there is a carry. So, this is the operation of 8-bit arithmetic uh, manipulation or operation. The same is for subtraction also. If it is a subtraction, instead of addition, instead of add, you will just going to replace it with sub. That is the only change you need to do in the operation. Rest is all same. Okay. Thank you.